the UWW301 TP wire welder is a compact and portable multi-purpose arc welding machine made for wire welding, stick electrode and TIG welding. The machine's excellent performance to weight ratio makes it ideal for onboard maintenance and repair welding use. Be sure to familiarize yourself with the user manual before use. The UWW301 TP wire welder with MIG MAG wire welding offers high deposition and productivity welding suitable for long multi-pass welds or time-limited constraints maintenance repairs. Combine the model with the accessories kit for UWW301 TP and you're ready to perform self-shield wire welding and stick electrode welding on board. The accessories kit includes a self-shield wire torch T350, an electrode holder and return clamp assembly rated 400A, with multi-purpose plier and 1.2mm contact tips for wire welding. Following are the different types of welding torches for UWW301TP. Electrode holder 400A with DIC70 connector. Self-shield wire torch T350 with Euro connector. For TIG welding with UWW301TP, the T200 TIG torch with DIC70 connector and its accessories are used. Return clamp assembly with DIC70 connector. For applications demanding high deposition welding, two new self-shield wire welding is introduced i.e. MSW203 for carbon steel and Tensile W228 for stainless steel as well as dissimilar steel. The UWW301TP requires a three-phase power supply, 380 to 440 volts connection and requires only a 16 amp slow blow fuse. The on-off switch is located at the back of the machine. The total protection function protects against voltage surges or loss of phase that could damage the machine. For wire welding, the machine is fitted with a gas connection to connect the gas supply. In order to use the remote control, it must be connected to the back of the machine and activated by selecting remote control on the front panel. The layout of the front panel is as follows. L1. If this L1 LED illuminates, then an anomaly has happened in the operating conditions. An alarm message appears on the following displays, D1, D2. ALHEA means overheating alarm and the thermal protection and cooling fan are activated. When the machine has cooled down, it will reset automatically. ALCUR means overcurrent alarm and the current surge protector has tripped. The cooling fan and an audible signal are activated. After adjusting the correct welding parameter settings, the machine can be reset by pressing any button or switching off the power supply. This L2 LED indicates the display of the average voltage and current value measured during the final moments of welding on the following displays, D1, D2. This L3 LED illuminates to confirm the presence of power on the output sockets. Pot 1. In MIG MAG mode, the Pot 1 potentiometer sets the inductance value. In MMA mode, the potentiometer sets the value of the arc force. S2 and L6. The button S2 enables the remote control and L6 LED illuminates to show that the remote control has been activated. S1 and L4. The button S1 selects the welding mode. MIG, MAG, MMA, TIG and L4 illuminates to show a value in volts. POT2. The POT2 potentiometer is for the following parameters function setting. In MIG, MAG mode, the potentiometer sets the value of the wire feed rate and in MMA TIG mode, the potentiometer sets the value of the welding current. POT3 The POT3 potentiometer 
is for the following parameters function setting. In MIG-MAG mode, the potentiometer sets the welding voltage and in the menu function, it sets the value of the selected function or parameter. S3. The button S3, when used in MIG-MAG mode, selects the torch trigger procedure and, when pressed for three seconds, will activate the hot start adjustment menu. When one of the wire welding modes are selected, these dials are used to adjust wire speed and voltage. This adjustment is only active when one of the wire welding modes are selected. Power on. When this L3 LED is illuminated, welding current is available. L5. The L5 LED illumination shows that the VRD function has been activated. Reduction of the output voltage reduces the voltage potential across the welding sockets when welding is not in progress. When welding mode MIG-MAG is selected, wire welding is activated. Ensure correct setup with the earth return clamp and the polarity selector cable should be plugged based on the polarity required. In MIG-MAG mode, the UWW301TP is ideal for flux cord or solid wire with diameter up to 1.2 mm. A set of wire guide tubes and wire feeder drive rollers for most common welding consumables is included in the package. Wire feeder rollers. Check that the wire feeder rollers are suitable for the welding wire diameter and the rollers type are compatible, i.e. V-groove for solid wires, knurled V-groove for flux cord wires and U-groove for aluminium wires. Once the welding wire is loaded and correctly fed to the wire feeder rollers and into the MIG-MAG torch connector plug, the wire feeding can be adjusted through the SEL1 switch located inside the wire spool compartment. When the speed limit adjustment is pressed, this lever activates wire feed to insert it through the MIG-MAG torch. Lower the lever to activate wire feed at a low speed, 2 meters per minute, and keep it lowered for more than 3 seconds to increase wire speed to 15 meters per minute. To adjust the gas flow for gas shielded welding process in MIG-MAG mode, by pressing the post gas adjustment, the lever opens the gas solenoid valve to fill the circuit and calibrate the flow pressure with the regulator located on the gas cylinder. Raise the lever to let the gas out for 15 seconds. Raise it again to stop the gas flow. To access the menu, keep the lever raised for 3 seconds. After the welding wire S200 spool is correctly loaded and the wire is correctly fed into the MIG-MAG torch, close the wire feeder pressure arms. Adjust the pressure system so that the arms will press the wire with a force that does not deform it, while also ensuring constant feed rate without slipping. Feed the wire through the torch until it protrudes from the tip by lowering the selector located in the spool compartment. The insertion speed is 2 meters per minute for 3 seconds, subsequently increasing to 15 meters per minute. When the button is released, wire feed is interrupted. For self-shield wire welding setup, connect the plug of the polarity selector and the earth return clamp based on the polarity required. Connect the earth return clamp to the workpiece and start welding with the T350 GL self-shield wire torch. For gas shield wire welding setup, Ensure gas-tight connection of the gas hose at the back of the machine is connected to the shielding gas supply. Next, connect the plug of the polarity selector and the earth return clamp on the basis of the polarity required. With the earth return clamp connected to the workpiece, start welding with a T400GS wire torch. Ensure the correct setup with the stick electrode and earth return clamp cable 
are plugged based on the polarity required. Select the welding mode, MMA, and stick electrode welding is activated. The polarity selector cable is not used in MMA mode. In the stick electrode welding mode, the UWW301TP has the capacity to weld all normal coated electrodes up to 5 mm diameter. When the remote control is connected and mounted on the electrode holder during stick electrode welding, users can adjust the welding current during welding. When welding mode TIG is selected, TIG welding is activated. Ensure the correct setup with the earth return clamp and the polarity selector cable plugged based on the polarity required. When the remote control is connected and mounted on the TIG torch during TIG welding, full control of the welding and downslope when finishing can be achieved. Like all UNITOR UWITP welding machines, the UWW301TP can power the UNITOR safe grinder. This low voltage 4 inch grinder is powered by just 42 volts, which makes it much safer to use and does not require a high voltage power cord. The UWW301TP wire welder is ideal for welding applications where high productivity welding is required, such as steel renewals for hull plates and stiffeners, ballast tanks, sea fastening for heavy lift bolt carriers, and other major welding works on board. Streamline your welding processes with our multi-purpose UWW301TP wire welder today.